chemicals. As I said, what controls hybridization is a central atom, not what is bonded to it. So if I use carbon here, the carbon in this state cannot go undergo SP2. So it has to be something like boron, right? So let's look at in BX3 compounds, okay? In BX3 compounds, right? So your X here can be hydrogen or it can be what? A halogen. And the halogens are the group 7 elements. So let's look at the formation. Okay. So we will first start with what we call SP3 chemical, right? So it is formed from, formed from mixing 1S character, right? 1S character and 2P and 2P characters. to form a hybrid orbital with equivalent energy and shape. Separated at a bond angle at a bond angle of what is the bond angle for this? One twenty degree with a trigonal planar shape. So that is SP two. So it is formed from mixing one S character and two P characters to form a hybrid orbital with equivalent energy and shape, separated at a bond angle of one twenty degree with a trigonal planar shape. So, that dramatic presentation, you expect to see this like this. That is a PX. Are you okay? And you expect to see what? A Y. That is a PY. To form what? Something like this. Are you okay? Good. Okay. So formation of BH3. BH3. Let's look at this. So see BH3. So this S can be H or halogen, right? Okay. The central atom has boron, number five. The central atom controls whether we are go SV3, SV2, or whatever, right? So let's look at boron. Ground state configuration. Ground state. Ground state for boron. One S two, two S two, two P X one. Agree. Now let's go to what we call a cited state for boron. Now in the citation state, boron is a cited, a cited state. We have what we call one S, two S, two P X, and two P Y. You see. You excite one electron from the 2s here, right? Into the empty orbitals here. Now this, together with this and that, will combine. So I'm going to form what? 3sp2 hybrid orbital. That is it. I hope you are seeing what is going on. So you see, when you excite, you yourself will see what you have to combine to form that. That is why it is called sp2. Now, when you excite and there's no where to put the excited electron, right? Then that will be the concept of what we call lone pair. When we get to central atoms like nitrogen and oxygen. Okay? Good. So we have this. So after a citation, you believe that you are going to get this. So one is called SP3. Agree? So now, each sp, sp2, each sp2 hybrid orbital then overlap axially with an with an s atom from what a hydrogen atom. Do you see? Good, that is it. To form what sp3, sorry sp2s 
boron, hydrogen, sigma what? Bond. Good. Boron, hydrogen, sigma bond, right? Seven that a bond angle of what? 120 degree with the shape being what? Tetrahedra. No. That is trigonal planar. So please, I hope you are getting it. So when it happens that you have to form B, C, L, right? The same way, right? C, L, that's a P orbital. You see the chlorine overlap with the P orbital, not S. So we are going to form S, B, 2, P, boron, chlorine, sigma bond. Not fine, right? Now still head on. This hope you are getting the concept well. So whether I undergo S, B, 2, S, B, 3 depends on the central atom involved here. If you use a carbon central atom, you end up in SP3. Okay, so this is SP2 concept. So we are still on our topic called hybridization. So that was SP, SP3, SP2. Let me start. And that is SP. Hybrid orbital. So, as usual, it is formed from mixing one S orbital and one P orbital to give two hybrid orbitals of equivalent energy and shape. So, the shape is linear in a bond angle is 180 degree. And let's have some simple examples. Example BEX2, where X is halogen or X can be what? Hydrogen. So, the formation of BEH2, right? Compound. So we are told that this X here can be H or it can be a halogen, right? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay. So the central atom here happens to be on beryllium. So I have to get a ground state configuration of beryllium. Right? Ground state configuration. And there is beryllium. What is the atomic number for beryllium? Four. So you have one S two, two S two. Now we go to what we call the excited state configuration. Of the same beryllium, you have one S two. Now we excite from the two S, right? So you excite into the empty orbitals of the two P X. So you have this. So at the end of the day. This and this all come together to form what we call SP. Right? SP. So we have two SP hybrid orbital. We have two SP hybrid orbital. You see? So if you are going to form SP2, SP3, it depends on the central atom. The central atom tells you what will happen. You can't decide whether you want to form SP2. Are you okay? Good. So that is all. So if they ask you to explain this, what would you say? Now if you want to draw, as a problem here, hybridize, 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 right? The bond angle is what? 180 degree. No. That's wrong, right? I'm talking about linear. Okay. So that's the real. Okay. That's SP. The bond angle is what? 180. Yeah. That's a linear shape, right? And the, uh, and the shape, yeah, the shape is linear. The bond angle is 180. So at the end of the day, what will you see? Now, each SP hybrid orbital will then overlap partially with an S orbital of the hydrogen atom, right? You see that? To form what? SP, S, beryllium, hydrogen, sigma world, bond. I hope you are getting it. So they ask you to uh, explain or describe that only. So that is a ground state, it's part of the answer, a citation state. Right? That is what will happen. So after exciting one electron from the two S into the two PX, the two S and the two PX combine to form what? to SP hybrid orbital of equivalent energy and shape. 
separated at one angle of 180 degrees Celsius with a linear shape. Right? So after that, each SP hybrid orbital will then overlap axially with an S orbital from a hydrogen atom to form SP S hydrogen hydrogen sigma bond, right? Oh, that is it. So I'll form my something. See the other ones I wrote them, so I think it's very easy for you to get this one to write it. Are you okay? So this is what it looks like. So similarly, we said X, it can be very long or right, right? So if you want to talk about BCL2, BCL2, then you are going to have something like this, right? So this is an SP hybrid orbital, right? It will overlap easily, right? It's a P orbital from what? Chlorine. You see that? So, the same bond angle of what? 180. So, you are going to form what we call SP, SP, P, beryllium chlorine, sigma what? Bond. Good. So, you form SP, P. You see that? Okay, so they overlap easily. So you decide which overlap is not this right, it's easier overlap. Right. 